2000 uh, with turbofan engines on later models. That was supposed to be a There is no afterburner on this jet. It is not supersonic. But as a lightweight attack aircraft, it really carved out a place in history for the United States Navy. Paul Wood from Illinois is flying it. And the Warbird Heritage Foundation Museum is the uh, owner of this airplane. And Paul's called Heinemann's Hot Rod. And the, it was also called the Bantam Bomber. They also called it the Scooter, and even the Tinker Toy. But look at the roll rate of this airplane. It has a maximum roll rate of 720 degrees to a second. Now he's not doing 720 there, but I tell you, if it had to. served as a naval aviator. Cessna Citation, which he owns, and for a slow flying, a single engine high wing A1B Husky. But right now, demonstrating the aircraft that from 1974 to 1981, or 85, I should say, 86, uh, was the uh, aircraft flown by the United States Navy's Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels, during the big gas crunch of uh, 1973, the gas guns made with F-4 Phantom IIs that were being flown by not only the Blue Angels, but the Thunderbirds were traded in for more economical fighters. And the A-4 was the one that was chosen by the Navy for the Blues. And if you go to the Naval Aviation Museum here on the base and go into the place where events are held, you can see four Skyhawks in, in the diamond formation. Sometimes pitching around with pinpoint accuracy and one is not so much of a landing. 